Hello, everyone. I'm Debbie Cottrell, president of Texas Lutheran University. And with me here today is my good friend, Bishop Sue Briner, leader of the Southwestern Texas Synod of the ELCA. In light of recent events, I've asked Bishop Briner to join me today in speaking with you about what is currently going on around us. How can we find the words to speak to this time? in the midst of a pandemic and all kinds of concerns and controversies associated with that, there is yet another act of racially motivated violence that demonstrates an absence of respect for life. Understandably, this event has led to deeply soul-crushing anger and frustration in response. We must acknowledge that the long struggle for racial equality present throughout our country's history remains to this day an unmet goal and an unfinished process. As harsh as this reality may be to face, we know by the teachings of Jesus Christ that redemption is there for those willing to face evil and offer love in return. The promise of forgiveness is sealed by the cross and eternally part of our faith as Christians. We believe that all are welcome at the table Christ set for us and that our greatest expression of faith is love for our neighbor. I invite you to consider what this means for you today. If you have come to TLU as a lifelong Lutheran, or if you have come to this institution to grow and prepare for the future, you are called as a witness of history. You have the choice to be a source of compassion for those who are in pain and a voice to claim justice for those who have waited far too long. I pray that you can find strength and pride in your affiliation with the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America through Texas Lutheran University. Though our history has not been free from incrimination in this country's fight for racial justice, today we are a denomination that is committed to dismantling racist structures in our church and calling out the sin of white supremacy. Right here in the Southwestern Texas Synod, we are doing the work to bring people into relationships of peace and equity that can heal the scars of the past. There is always a time for new creation, though it may be hard to see when despair is on all sides of us. I offer you reason to hope that your future will be different those who assembled here, than those who assembled here even just a year ago. This is your time. I pray that you will remember yourself in years to come as a person who cared, who acted, and was proud of the difference you made. We also cannot be silent at a time like this. We must not prioritize a hope for tranquility over the imperative need to take a stand. A place like TLU has both an opportunity and an obligation to be a source of help and hope. As an educational institution, we have the ability to teach and to learn, to provide examples of strong voices and active solutions, and to remind our students and our faculty and our staff that as an institution, we stand for preparing individuals to go out and make the world a better place. One of my favorite leaders in this country, Michael Curry, presiding bishop of the Episcopal Church, noted on Sunday that even though our nation's heart is breaking right now, we must not let our frustration lead to fatalism or despair. He reminded us that we are not condemned to live this way forever, but that we can instead forge a new and different path ahead. As he said, now is the time for a national renewal of the ideals of human equality, liberty, and justice for all. Now is the time to commit to cherishing and respecting all lives and to honoring the dignity and infinite worth of every child of God. I would add to that that now is the time for Texas Lutheran University to stand for equality, to find words and actions to demonstrate our commitment to decency, and to focus the work that we do every day at this institution to help find solutions, large and small, to help us all do better and be better in pursuit of equality and truth. 
Now is the time for us to live into our core values, including the value of community that prioritizes providing a supportive and inclusive environment and emphasizes the respect of all its members and seeks to support justice and promote the common good. Now more than ever is the time for us individually and collectively to do and be our best. And as we return in the fall, we will have many issues to face and many adjustments to make. But clearly a critical part of what happens on this campus in the fall must be furthering the important work of diversity, equity, inclusion, making sure we continue to learn, grow and communicate around those central tenets of TLU. Will you pray with me? On the day that God drew us from the soil of the earth and gave us life with holy breath, God saw the good in this creation. Today, as we are lifted by the breath of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, we know that we are still beloved to God. Let us always remember that we are united by the love of our Creator, that we are all precious creatures whose many facets reflect the healing light of the world, Jesus Christ. Go in peace and humbly serve each other. Amen.